I hope you found the personality tests illuminating. Keep the results in mind as you integrate your personal psychology into the unique way you hear and understand feedback. Principles of learning make for a good exposition, but let's let transformative learning serve as the inciting incident of your learning story. Jack Mezzera was an emeritus professor of adult and continuing education at the Teachers College of Columbia University. In the 1970s, he developed a transformative learning theory, which focuses on how adults learn. The theory assumes that by this time in your life, new learning is conditioned by your experience, cultural background, and role models. You have a personal frame of reference complex set of assumptions and attitudes you use to filter perceptions. Your frame of reference is also a way of organizing what you know. New knowledge can challenge that frame of reference, but can also give deeper meaning to what you know. Let's go through a modified version of the 10 phases of transformative learning and apply them to hearing feedback for rewriting. Let the drama commence. First phase. You confront a disorienting dilemma. In this phase, you're confronted with new knowledge that disrupts your frame of reference. How will you integrate this new knowledge? Is this new information even worth integrating? Both constructive feedback and feedback that is poorly stated can change how you think about your work. Disoriented, defensive, and overwhelmed, you feel like you'll never be able to move forward with a rewrite, but you will. Phase two. You examine and manage your emotions. Resistance to new knowledge provokes anxiety and discomfort. You are given a choice. Squelch how you feel or think about why you feel the way you do. Hearing feedback starts with thinking about how you reacted to the feedback and why. There is no shame in finishing an imperfect first draft. There is no shame when you're emotionally triggered. It's worth taking the time to work through these feelings before thinking about rewriting. Phase three, you assess your assumptions. After thinking about how you feel, you turn to thinking about how you think and the assumptions you make that can block embracing new knowledge. It takes courage to reassess your assumptions and resolve conflicted thinking. Once you have resolved how and why you are emotionally triggered by the feedback, you can better alter your thinking. You assess if and where the assumptions you made in your writing need to change. However, critical reflection is as much about you as it is about your work. Phase four, you recognize that others go through this process too. Everyone struggles mentally and emotionally when integrating new knowledge. No, you are not alone, but you do have a unique style of learning. This phase is a reminder that receiving feedback challenges every writer. Translating that feedback into something useful for a rewrite takes time and practice. We will get into detail, promise. Phase five, you explore options and actions. There is no single way to embrace the new knowledge that alters your frame of reference. You do this in your own way. However, you may need new tools to better incorporate new knowledge into your style of learning. Following a critique, you may find yourself overwhelmed with possible options for a rewrite. Makes sense. Think about these options, play with them, see what might fit, but make no commitments yet. We'll get there. Phase six. You plan a course of action. To move forward may require remodeling your frame of reference and reorganizing your thoughts. You may need additional skills to do this. Changing your mind can be challenging. We'll take a deeper look at this in a later lesson. After hearing feedback and before you rewrite, plan the actions you need to take. This can include taking time to let your subconscious process the feedback, critically reflecting on your intention or arguments, thinking about your character's backstories, or other actions that prepare you to rewrite. Phase seven, you enhance your skills by doing additional research. Just the process of research can give you insight in how you need to change your thinking or your frame of reference. Learning never ends, unless you want it to. I hope you don't. Just because you have a plan of action for your rewrite doesn't mean you're fully prepared to dive in. Before implementing a plan, consider what additional information will help you move forward. 
you may need additional research, including exploring the experiences of others. Phase eight, you try out different points of view. The White Queen in Lewis Carroll's Through the Looking Glass said, I've believed in as many as six impossible things before breakfast. Challenging your thinking about what you know and believe can spark inspiration. With the security of having a plan, you can try on different points of view. For argument essays, this means thinking about writing from opposing points of view. For fiction, this can mean exploring how other characters see the main character or contribute to the plot. Play with how you will integrate new research and ideas without changing your intention. This may require additional writing or deleting some of what you have already written. But less is more. Phase 9. You build confidence in implementing new learning. Confidence comes from experience and trusting yourself so that, yes, you know that you can learn this and do this. With confidence in your skills, you are better able to integrate new knowledge. Feedback in other areas of life have sent you into a state of confusion, and yet you have found ways to escape unscathed. Remind yourself of past successes or do something you do well before you rewrite with confidence. Phase 10. You celebrate deeper insight. Hooray! There is joy in embracing new knowledge. It may reshape your thinking in ways you hadn't imagined. Careful, this state of being is addicting and can encourage more learning. You'll recognize the moment of insight that will inspire a rewrite. In the prior course, we called it cracking the nut. Maybe the trigger was a piece of feedback, or maybe just the process of getting feedback inspired new thinking. Embrace the joy, it's all yours. Trusting in the plot arc of hearing feedback based on the phases of transformative learning can help you, especially when you feel lost or overwhelmed. Arthur is going through the entire process to better assure a successful rewrite. You can too. Your assignment is to do some short writing exercises. You won't share the writing you do for these exercises, but they will serve as the basis for a short draft essay or story that you will share. Talk at you soon!